Welcome to ET302 Principles of Electricity and Electronics. This course is going to be taught asynchronously online, meaning that we'll have videos and they will be whenever you want to take them. Um, we will not be using parts this semester, but we will give you the opportunity to come in for some open labs and do some hands-on real labs. Um, all of our information will be on Canvas at that address there, and everything you need will be right there. I'll conduct online office hours, which will be on Zoom, and there's a the Zoom address. And Monday through Thursday from 5 to 6, 15 p.m. Um, if you need to make a special appointment, there's my email, or if you have questions, uh, this will go right through Canvas. And uh, if you need a special meeting, just let me know. Uh, this class will have no textbook. The textbooks have become very, very expensive, and students don't open them up and read them. So any basic electronics textbook, electricity and electronics, will be fine. So if you find a used book or get one out of the uh, library, that would be good. Um, we will have uh, online copies, and there are plenty of good videos out there uh, on YouTube, and I'll create them too. So I don't think the book is necessary, but if you're a reader, just pick up a, a used book somewhere. Um, we do require the lab book, and that one's through uh, University Press, and it'll be available through the bookstore. Or you could purchase it directly from the publisher. It's a little cheaper, but it might take a little longer. And the, the bookstore may not have copies, so uh, they may have to order them. Uh, we have a scientific calculator that's required. I recommend the TI-30XS, X2S. Uh, it's a very, very good tech calculator, and all of our uh, information is based on that. Um, if you do get a textbook, we do recommend Reading Across the Disciplines, RAD. It's an excellent program, and it'll really help you to annotate the books, get ready for testing, and people say that it raises their grades by about one, one point, so, or one grade. Um, so it's they're very nice people over there, and I highly recommend it. We will be doing some simulation and challenges. Our electronic challenges are free and they should be on the Canvas zip file inside of Canvas. They're also available on VMware, which will work with uh, other computer systems like the Macs and the uh, Chromebooks. Uh, Multisim is available virtually through the campus. It requires VMware and uh, it's an excellent program. It is available for students to buy uh, it's around $50. It is not required, but it is an excellent program for electronic students to have. Um, but everything is available through VMware. We're very fortunate to have home bases. Ours will be the Manufacturing, Construction, and Transportation home base, and it will be located in TEW 404. Um, they have uh, all the help you need over there. And probably the most helpful person over there would be Andrea Hudgens, which is our clerk. And she knows where things are and she could get you help. Also, the home base coach, Anastasia, will help you throughout things. And we also have two counselors there that can also help you. But they know where to send you and they have uh, food and snacks and just a place to hang out and meet other students. But it is a, a good place uh, to meet and to get information. We also have two excellent electronic technicians that are uh, in a building right adjacent to our home base, Stan Gretchenko and Andrei Dumanov. Um, they're available, uh, Stan will be available Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30, and Andre will be available Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, the same times, 8 to 4.30. But he'll be there on evenings, Tuesday and Thursday, from 1 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. So they could get you information, parts, helping. And soon what we're going to do is we're going to open up the lab 
that you guys could come in and do some hands-on labs. We'll do some special ones. We'll be able to help you. And if you wanted to do a real lab instead of a, a, a virtual lab, that would be fine too. Here we have a map, and this is the north side of the campus between College Oak Drive and Myrtle. We're going to be at the gate here, and just look for all the tractors and construction equipment. They tore down our building. The bad news is going to be messy, but the good news is we're going to get a brand new uh, lab and classrooms, and it's going to be very modern and quite nice. But in the meantime, all of our stuff is going to be located in Technical Education West, TEW. Here's a detailed view of our Technical Education West area. The tool room is right on the corner, TEW 403, and our home base is TE 404. Um, so those are the locations. There are no restrooms in that area. You'll have to use the one in science or automotive or the cafeteria. Just general information, masks are not required but recommended. Uh, vaccinations are no longer required either and there are no checks or any of that thing. But the campus still remains non-smoking and a non-vaping uh, campus, so keep that in mind. Okay, at American River we're very fortunate to have uh, resources for students. We have very good programs and several of them that take care of the students. So we have CalWORKs and DSPS and EOPNS and CARE and Next Up and a Veterans Resource Center. And all these are available on the student resources page on our American River College website. And uh, excellent people over there and if you need any of these services check them out and let me know how well they did.